Hi, this is Fake Review Watch and I'm Kay Dean. The Federal Trade Commission recently announced a proposed rule banning fake reviews. While a good step, the new rule won't hold accountable those most responsible for rampant review fraud, the tech companies and review sites themselves. The Federal Trade Commission announced on June 30th, 2023, its proposed rule banning fake reviews and testimonials. Fake reviews were already illegal, but the new rule will spell out more clearly what is prohibited and allow the FTC to impose civil penalties. All well and good, in my opinion. However, if we wade through the 100 pages of the proposed rule discussion down to page 52, note this. The FTC says that Google doesn't want the proposed rule to apply to review platforms. Of course not. Unfortunately, the FTC agrees, stating clearly that third-party review platforms that disseminate consumer reviews are off the hook. With no accountability for third-party platforms, the massive problem of fake online reviews will never be solved. I'll show you two current cases involving important professions like dentistry and neurosurgery, demonstrating that Facebook and Google are abetting review fraud right now. In March 2023, KTNV Las Vegas aired a two-part piece on fake Yelp, Facebook, and Google reviews for Las Vegas Pool Builder. That story was based on the research I showed in my video called Rigging the Deck, Fake Reviews for Vegas Contractor. I used this spreadsheet in that video to argue that Green Care Pool Builder had multiple fake positive Facebook reviews. Look at the Facebook reviewers across the top who have reviewed both Green Care and many other businesses from around the country and indeed the world in common. Not believable. When KTNV asked Facebook last winter about the fake reviews on its site for Green Care Pool Builder, Facebook provided a canned response. Facebook says it doesn't allow fraudulent activity, that it's continually working to prevent it, and that it takes robust steps to prevent fake reviews from appearing on its platforms. Yet, when I checked on July 4th, every review on this spreadsheet was still active on Facebook. So much for Facebook's continual work and robust steps to prevent fraud on its site. Now, it seems this same network of Facebook profiles is spewing out more fake reviews. Another beneficiary is Vu Dental in Kyle, Texas, which has a five-star rating based on 41 Facebook reviews. I'll show you what's happening. On May 2nd, Jack Thornton says he had a fantastic experience with Vu Dental and their Invisalign treatment. But Jack was one of those people on our spreadsheet that reviewed Green Care Pool Builder in Las Vegas. By the way, Look at Jack's Facebook profile photo. It appears he's using a photo of another man, Dr. Cami Parsa from Beverly Hills. Funny, on May 2nd, Dan Benz also said he had a fantastic experience with Voo Dental and their Invisalign treatment. In fact, it's the exact review posted by Jack Thornton. Hmm, and Dan Benz also reviewed Green Care Pool Builder. On May 4th, some guy going by the name Eve Baldwin also recommended Vu Dental after they handled his dental emergency. Yes, Eve also reviewed Green Care Pool Builder. I think it's time to update our spreadsheet. Here's the same spreadsheet I showed earlier for Green Care Pool Builder in Las Vegas, but now I've added Facebook reviews for Vu Dental in the first row. So, according to Facebook, the first 14 people on this spreadsheet all used the same dentist in Texas, the same contractor in Las Vegas, the same Long Island Vehicle Transport Company, the same duct cleaning company with offices in Florida and Arizona, the same Brooklyn Handyman, the same property maintenance company in the Hudson Valley, and the same mouth guard maker in Australia. Let that sink in. Facebook doesn't see this? 
Worse, it doesn't care. This network was brought to Facebook's attention months ago. Now, fake reviews from these same profiles are deceiving dental patients in Texas. So much for Facebook. Okay, what about Google? I produced a video in January 2023 summarizing Google's failures with its review platform. I'll show you a current example highlighting two points. Google lacks transparency by allowing profiles to be locked, and Google doesn't ferret out obvious fake review patterns. Fake reviews can be especially harmful when they involve something as critical as neurosurgery. Dr. Jawad A. Shaw is a neurosurgeon in Flint, Michigan, with a 4.8 star Google rating based on 160 reviews as of July 15, 2023. Jennifer Lopez and Maria Smith both posted five-star Google reviews for Dr. Shaw four months ago. When you click on their profiles, however, you get the message I've highlighted. This person hasn't written any reviews yet or has chosen not to show them on their profile. I call this a locked profile, and it's a tactic used by many fake profiles to hide their review patterns. I did some digging and found more reviews by Lopez and Smith. Four months ago, they both posted five-star reviews for the same endodontist in Arizona. Interestingly, Four Peaks Endodontics was already profiled in one of my previous videos on fake Google reviews. Gee, Lopez and Smith also reviewed the same beauty business in Leewood, Kansas four months ago and they both reviewed Eastern Title and Settlement in Rockville, Maryland seven months ago. So, both of these ladies reviewed Dr. Shaw in Michigan and three other businesses from around the country at the same time. That's definitely suspicious. Here's another example. Cheryl Sylvia and Henry Georges also posted five-star reviews for Dr. Shaw four months ago. Yes, their profiles are locked as well. Fortunately, I can find what Google doesn't want to let you see. Remember that Jennifer Lopez and Maria Smith both gave five-star reviews to Eastern Title and Settlement seven months ago? Well, so did Cheryl Sylvia and Henry Georges. Sylvia and Georges also both liked Mecca Medic's auto mechanic and RV repair shop in Bakersfield, California four months ago. And they both posted five-star reviews four months ago for low-cost conveyancing services in Melbourne, Australia, if you can believe it. This time, Henry Georges teamed up with Jennifer Lopez to post five-star reviews five months ago for Gramercy Heating and Cooling in New York. And Sylvia, Georges, and Lopez all got together to post five-star reviews six months ago for Pops Car Rentals in Queens, New York. Looks like the whole gang reviewed Dixon Commercial Investigators up in Canada seven months ago. And finally, the whole gang got together four months ago to post five-star reviews for European toy seller BerghoffToys.com. Now, given all of this, do you believe those reviews by Cheryl Sylvia and Henry Georges for Dr. Shaw? Sylvia says she had several surgeries from Dr. Shaw, who is polite, amazing, and thorough. Georges says Dr. Shaw performed surgery on his lower back and that he was feeling normal in two weeks. Unfortunately, desperate people may rely on these bogus Google reviews in selecting a neurosurgeon. Let's plot some of Dr. Shaw's Google reviews on a spreadsheet. Across the top of this spreadsheet are 26 Google reviewers of Dr. Jawad Shaw in Flint, Michigan. Down the left side are nearly 40 businesses from around the country and the world that have also been reviewed by these same profiles. The overlapping review patterns here are not believable. You'd think that Google's algorithms could detect this. For example, Google would have us believe that 10 of Dr. Shaw's patients all use the same beauty salon in Kansas. 10 of his patients like the same European toy seller. 
Nine used the same pest control business in Lyon, France. Six apparently see the same endodontist in Phoenix. I could point out plenty more, but you get the idea. This is ridiculous, and it shows Google's negligence in policing its review platform. No wonder they don't want the new FTC rule to apply to them. Now, I have no idea what kind of a surgeon Dr. Shaw is, but I certainly don't trust his Google reviews. Here's one more thing Google should catch. At the top is the review from four months ago I showed you earlier by Maria Smith. It begins, very recently my daughter had to be evaluated by neurosurgery. Dr. Shaw was always passionate about exceptional care and honesty. Below is that same review, also posted four months ago by someone else, Liza Willey. Here's another example of duplicate reviews. Above is Jennifer Lopez's review from four months ago for Dr. Shaw. Below is that same review, also posted four months ago by Belly Roach. What I suspect is going on is that a review seller has created all of the profiles I've shown you and has made some mistakes by posting the same text under different names. The larger point, though, is that Google should be able to see this immediately. Neither Google, Facebook, nor other review sites are serious about stamping out review fraud. That's why the FTC's proposed rule, while good, won't be enough to rein in review fraud. If the FTC can't do it, then it's time for Congress to take on big tech.